In May of 1939, the USS Squalus was in a training operation off the coast of New Hampshire when she encountered severe problems and sank in 242 feet of water. Miraculously, the United States Navy was able to rescue a large number of the submariners and subsequently salvage the ship, which would be used in World War II under a different name. In this photo from 1939 aboard the USS Falcon, we can see one of the salvage divers using the then experimental US Navy Mark V mixed gas or helium helmet. Nation's Attic is proud to be able to offer the earliest example we have ever had. From 1945, this United States Navy Mark V mixed gas helmet was made by the Desco Company, then called the Diving Equipment and Salvage Company, dated specifically November 9th, 1945. Now, as we take a closer look at the identification plate, we can see it has a U.S. Navy inspection stamp present, indicating and proving this helmet was inspected and put into U.S. Navy inventory. Now, at the neck ring above, this helmet is serial numbers matching, so the top and the bottom are original to each other. Now, this helmet is in excellent condition, has a wonderful patina to it. The copper body is in beautiful condition. All the brass hardware is intact and original, just as it should be. Now, one of the things that sets the helium or mixed gas Mark Vs apart from the standard air helmets is the complication of additional fittings and the large brass canister located on the very back of the helmet. Now, these additional fittings allow for hookups for heat or electrical heat to be put into a special undergarment that some of the divers would wear. Of course, there was an air and gas mixture present, a telephone hookup, and then an additional gas fitting that would put the gas through a Venturi effect through the brass canister on the back. Now, the unique brass canister on the back of the helmet contained a chemical called shell natron. Now, this chemical took the diver's carbon dioxide that he exhaled and absorbed it and allowed it to be reused through the helmet. Now this particular canister is serial numbered and is matching to the rest of the helmet as well as can be seen shortly. Now the shell natron was a caustic granular chemical that when it came into contact with the skin would actually burn it. Now also, if there were any leaks in this helmet, if any water got to that chemical, it would create a chlorine gas that would burn the skin and in some cases be fatal to divers. This led to the name or the ominous name, the Widowmaker, given to this particular model of helmet. With the extreme depths, the cold temperatures, and the dangerous chemical that was needed for this type of helmet, some divers deathly feared its use. Now, as we can see, this helmet, as I mentioned, has a wonderful patina to it. It is very impressive. These helmets are heavy as well, weighing over 100 pounds. And with the large brass canister on the back and the extra fittings, it's just a visually impressive helmet. Now, these are also a wonderful investment piece as well. They rarely turn up, and in this condition, it's almost unheard of, especially with all serial numbers matching. Now, this helmet will come with a detailed certificate of authenticity from the nation's attic. It will be accompanied by a, an original 1943 U.S. Navy diving manual, which had to be updated with the invention of this type of helmet. Lastly, it will come with an issue of the Historical Diving Society magazine from 2009, detailing in great detail the salvage and rescue operations of the Squalus and the use of this type of helmet. My name is Don, owner of the Nation's Attic, and I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.